stir the pot. Stop the cook. Let the shift settle. Let the questions be. Relearn the vision. I made these movements after a meditation on how every moment is a new moment. I created phrases to go with them for the climate march in Washington, D.C., and then used them as a base for the Make a Movement project. partnered with the public high school dance and drama teacher and the sixth grade art teacher. Their students in the Kent County, Maryland community with a grant from Arts in Motion and the Kent County Arts Council. This parachute was donated by the owner of the local framing shop. Workshops were held at the Kent County Public Library. The Seed House, an alternative holistic health center in the Washington College Dance Department and the University of Maryland Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. We meditated and moved and looked at this mind map about the effects of heat trapping gases on our planet. Drama students wrote scenes about how climate change affects them and our world. Sixth graders made these posters. On October 28th, I asked the public to gather around a large parachute and introduced it as the Earth. I asked them to wear red to surround the Earth and feel the heat of the atmosphere. I asked people to take a moment to stand still at the edge of the Earth to feel your energy, to feel how you are grounded how your root energy reaches down through your legs to balance you, to feel the energy of water at the base of your belly, fire and air in your heart, your compassion, the light air energy that moves through your arms, your throat, your voice, your intuition, the energy that floats up and out of your head, connecting you to the universe, to consciousness and to the whole world. Before every workshop and at this outdoor event, I ask to take a moment to recognize all our ancestors and all the people who have ever lived here on this land, the Native Americans, the American Indians, the Europeans, the Africans, the African Americans, the European Americans, Latin Americans, Central and South Americans, Arab Americans, Indian Americans, Asian and South Asian Americans, and all the people who are not identified as Americans. I asked, if you are able, take a minute to notice your breath. Observe the life of oxygen entering in your body and the carbon dioxide leaving your body. Before the excessive use of fossil fuels, mankind existed with the earth in a balanced ecosystem that had stable carbon dioxide levels. But with the burning of fossil fuels to heat our homes, drive our cars, industry, trucks, boats, and planes all around the world, these excessive heat trapping gases have reached elevated levels.
Charles David Keeling and his son Ralph have worked to measure levels of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, developing what is called the Keeling Curve, showing us that for the last four ice ages, CO2 levels have gone up and down, but had never gone past 350 parts per million until 1950. What happened? With the Industrial Revolution and the Second World War, dependence on fossil fuel, now we have over 400 parts per million of CO2 in our atmosphere. That's 50 parts per million higher than the deemed safe level. Look at us now. Can you see and feel the earth absorbing all that extra heat? We've cut down so many trees and plants, all the carbon dioxide is looking for places to go. The oceans are soaking it up like a sponge, making them warmer. It's melting snow and ice, creating more evaporation, pulling water out of some areas, causing droughts and stronger wildfires, and bringing more precipitation into clouds and other places, creating more rain and stronger storms. It's changing the seasons and conditions for plants and animals, creating a change in migrations and habitat loss, leading to extinctions. You can run under, you can run under it. You can let go and run. Stir the pot. Stop the cook. Open the wind. Cleanse and wash. Let the shift settle. Relearn the vision. Open for change. Let the questions be. Let all the angles in. I asked all the people in the park who were adults in 1970 to come to the center to surround the dancers and the earth and I thanked them. I thanked them for the Clean Air Act. When they were voting adults, President Richard Nixon called the 1970s a decade of environmental transformation. He found the Environmental Protection Agency, whose purpose is to ensure that all Americans are protected from significant risks to human health and the environment where they live, learn, and work that national efforts to reduce environmental risk are based on the best available scientific information, that federal laws protecting human health and the environment are enforced fairly and effectively, that environmental protection is an integral consideration in the U.S. policies concerning natural resources, human health, economic growth, energy, transportation, agriculture, industry, and international trade, and these factors are similarly considered in the establishing of the environmental policy. That all parts of society, communities, individuals, businesses, and state, local, and tribal governments have access to accurate information sufficient to effectively participate in managing human health and environmental risks. Environmental protection contributes to making our communities and ecosystems diverse, sustainable, and economically productive, and that the United States play a leadership role in working with other nations to protect the global environment. So me, as the symbol of our nation, I believe we should come together as a nation. Worldwide, we should come together to fix pollution, deforestation, and rising CO2 levels to better our world for today and tomorrow. Thank you. Hey guys, how's it going? Winter, how's it snowing? <laughs> wow, climate change, way to rain on our parade. What are you doing here? Well, that's a very good question. What am I doing here? As climate change, I don't actually ask to be here. It just kind of happens. Global warming? Yeah, that's me. But it's not really caused by me. It's kind of caused by people. What's the problem? It, it's a, it was just a prank, bro. You good? You're really not that bad. Yeah. I mean, you provide warm temps and increased sunlight to make the beautiful plants grow. But it causes over sunlight, and that causes droughts, and all those beautiful plants just wither away. I can 
provide sunlight to power the solar panels. You mean you can help fix it? Yeah, and I can provide bin to turn the turbines to create energy. New forms of energy? That should help with the problem. Thanks, guys. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. <laughs> Al compás de una quiepa sin fin, con tal gracia, me a la cadera, mi nera que me hace perder la razón, mucho la con tal gracia. Okay, can everybody wave their hands up in the air and say, 350! 350! One more time. 350! Okay, wow. You guys are so beautiful and awesome. Thank you so much. Mi nera que a mí se me amaña, me dice enterito mi nombre de amor. Cuando va la mi nera, un joro, Perder la razón, cuchurra con la gracia, me dio la cadera, minera que me hace perder la razón.